On July 2nd, 1864, Philip Henry Gladfelter opened a small paper mill in the town of Spring Forge, Pennsylvania. A responsible and motivated businessman, Philip saw to it that the company flourished. Within the first 10 years, the company increased production from 1,500 to 10,000 pounds of paper per day, a seven-fold increase. In 1880, when Philip installed the world's largest paper machine, it was just the beginning of what would prove to be a continuous track record of industry-leading innovation. As Glattfelter raced into the 20th century, the company was well-positioned for sustainable growth. A key driver of the company's financial success was a strong focus on environmental sustainability. Since higher production meant a greater demand for natural resources, the company went to great lengths to ensure that it protected the forests, streams, and wildlife. In the 1920s, Glattfelter had the distinction of appointing one of the country's first industrial foresters to help educate farmers in the practice of sustainable forestry. This education program was so successful that two decades later, more than 700 farms surrounding Spring Grove had managed woodlands that were generating enough revenue that many farm owners were able to put their children through college. Recognizing the economic, environmental, and social devastation caused by the Dust Bowl during the 1930s, Glattfelter made the decision to hire a full-time employee to actively promote the government's newly formed soil conservation program, a decision that helped secure the program's success. In the 1940s and 50s, Glattfelter implemented a statewide reforestation program and established the first sustainably managed tree farms in Pennsylvania and Maryland to ensure our natural resources would remain abundant and well-managed for the benefit of future generations. Glattfelter also developed a patented, cutting-edge secondary waste treatment process to put oxygen back into the water before returning it to the stream. Recognizing the company's environmental stewardship, United States President Dwight D. Eisenhower, on behalf of the American Forestry Association, honored Glattfelter with the Distinguished Service Award for the conservation of soil, water, forests, and wildlife. As Glattfelter continued to grow and rapidly expand, safety remained a high priority for the company. Glattfelter went to great lengths to ensure its commitment to safety was ingrained in the company culture as well as the local community. As a result, Glattfelter consistently achieved one of the best safety records in the industry, recognized by the National Safety Council. For Glattfelter, sustainability has been at the heart of the company since the beginning. The company was born during the American Civil War, survived the Great Depression, and stood strong through two world wars. It endured devastating floods, crippling oil crises, and the competitive threats of a new global economy. By the end of the century, Glattfelter had forged a sustainable path of success. Thanks to the unrelenting drive and determination of its people, Glattfelter achieved record sales of over $500 million annually. As Glattfelter Prepared to enter the 21st century, however, the once vibrant U.S. paper industry was on the wane. Papermaking capacity began to outstrip demand. Escalating costs collided with declining paper prices, and global competition began to impact U.S. markets. For the first time in history, paper mills in North America began closing large-scale operations. Work began to redefine Glattfelter's business model to meet declining customer demand and rising costs. This team embraced change and a commitment to change anything and everything that no longer created value for the business, to become a global leader and to thrive, not just survive. To begin repositioning the business, Glattfelter executed a series of strategic acquisitions. First was the purchase of Scholler and Hirsch, a global leader in non-woven filtration papers. With this investment, Glattfelter expanded its portfolio to produce tea bag papers and later single-serve coffee filters as well as overlay papers for laminate flooring and countertops. With facilities in Germany, France, and the Philippines, this acquisition opened doors to new growth markets in Europe and Asia and provided Glattfelter with access to state-of-the-art inclined wire technology. Glattfelter continued to aggressively expand the company's portfolio into global niche markets with acquisitions in the United Kingdom, East Germany, and Canada. 
These acquisitions propelled the company into fiber-based absorbent materials and established Glatfelter as the world's largest manufacturer of air-laid products. They also provided additional capacity to support the growing coffee and tea bag markets and expanded the company's production into metallized papers. Investments in growth were not limited to Europe. To secure Glatfelter's position as a leading producer of printing and writing papers in North America, the company acquired two operations in Ohio. This acquisition positioned Glatfelter as one of the largest producers of carbonless papers and provided additional capacity to expand the company into specialty niche markets throughout the U.S. and Canada. The vision to transform the company was proving successful. By 2010, despite declining consumer demand in the U.S. and a crippling global recession, Glatfelter sales had grown to $1.5 billion. Glatfelter was successfully reinventing itself as a global supplier of specialty papers and fiber-based engineered materials. The company was now positioned to forge ahead well into the 21st century. Glatfelter's expansion continued in 2013 with its newest acquisition, a facility in Dresden, Germany, that expanded the company's non-wovens portfolio into the growing wall covering market. Today, Glatfelter is an innovative supplier of specialty papers and highly engineered fiber-based materials, the global supplier of choice to major multinational customers with products marketed in over 100 countries. Across the company's three business units, Glatfelter holds leading positions in every major market it serves, with revenues approaching $2 billion. Around the world, every day, Glatfelter people are working to enrich your lives. Glatfelter is with you in the morning as you brew that perfect cup of coffee or tea. And Glatfelter is there at the end of the day when you curl up to read a good book or relax with a cold beverage in hand. Glatfelter quality is in your greeting cards when you care to send the very best and in your bank checks and legal documents, protecting your identity and giving you peace of mind. Glatfelter is putting the improvement in home improvement making your floors and countertops scratch resistant and easier to clean. We even make wallpapers easier to hang and remove. Glatfelter innovation helps keep your life more active with thinner, more discreet non-woven products for feminine hygiene and adult incontinence. Glatfelter's research and development is always hard at work delivering comfort and safety for you and your loved ones. Behind all these innovations are the scientists and engineers of Glatfelter's new product development teams who help our customers bring exciting, life-enhancing new products to market. Through all the growth and evolution, one thing has remained unchanged. Glatfelter's core values. Integrity. Mutual respect. Financial discipline. Customer focus. Environmental responsibility. And social responsibility. These core values, the center of Glatfelter's culture, residing in the hearts and minds of all Glatfelter people. People that are not defined by any single industry, but one bold and singular vision, to become the global supplier of choice in specialty papers and fiber-based engineered materials. For employees, customers, shareholders, and local communities, the future holds great opportunity and promise as Glatfelter continues its journey beyond paper. It's a journey of transformation that began over 150 years ago and continues today through the drive and determination of thousands around the world. La France vous remercie. Nous souhaitons au groupe un avenir prospère. Merci, we thank you from the United States. On behalf of all Gladfelter people worldwide, we thank you.